selection process based on use cases of PISP group. Let's move to the to today's agenda. In day four, the agenda of today is interest invoice configuration and process, then recurring invoice configuration and process, then FBDI supplier conversions. That is bringing the supplier details from legacy data. So how the things are performed in the application we will see in today's session. So let us move to the next slide. As per use case, as per business requirement, the with selected supplier or vendor, any delay or overdue payments as per term should attract an interest payable at the rate 3% per annum. So this is the requirement of business user. So what kind of setups basically we had to do in the application to perform so that key so that the interest invoice is created automatic automatically. So let us move to the next slide. The step for interest invoice configuration and process in invoice option we have to enable the create interest invoice and we have to provide interest expense distribution out there. We have to provide minimum interest amount and we have to select the interest allocation method. So whether you want to allocate in line to line basis or and the total basis right. So that is the allocation method. Then the interest rate in payables application we have to define the interest rate out there out there from date to date the range you have to provide and provide the interest percentage right and after that in the supplier side we set yes for create interest invoice right so these are the configurations we have to do in the application in our test case related to auto invoice in the accounts payable we will create a an invoice workbench we will in the header level we will select the payment term as immediate so that we can perform the task and the date should be a prior date right so that is the importance today's date is there and i am making the payment it will not attract any interest and minimum amount should be there. So criteria is also there more than that certain criteria. The minimum amount should be say uh, $2 or $3 whatever there. We will test that particular case right. So that is the requirement and we will create a payment in the payments workbench by selecting the vendor or supplier with the current date. The system will create interest amount based on overdue balance, right? So that is the overdue balance and the term based with the term date, right? So that is the term date with the current date with a defined interest rate there on, right? So let us now move to the application, how the things to be performed. So first we will go with the configuration that is in the invoice option we will enable the create interest invoice right so let us navigate to that so let me log in with the user credential So we have log in with the user credential.
from setting an action setup and maintenance select scope as financials invoice option that is invoice option and select the business unit as the selected scope bisp solution and c miami is the my business unit if you scroll down little bit down out here you will see interest right so that is the interest i have already enabled that create interest invoice and provided the interest expenses distribution right so that is the interest distribution i have already provided and minimum interest amount i have provided the in minimum interest amount that is five dollars it will since it's a us based and the functional currency is in dollars right so that is the five dollars minimum five dollars below any five dollars is there it will not create any interest invoice now the interest allocation method the allocation in all invoice line you want to allocate in all invoice line or a single distribution so i will select a single distribution out here and save and close the first step we have done now moving to the next setup that is interest rate right so that is interest rate if i select all interest the manage interest rate here we are manage interest interest rate is the task out here the percentage is 5% as per the requirement of the client that is 3% right so that is first of january to 31st december 23 the financial year 23 it is showing 5% let me change to 3% as per the requirement of business user as seven close right so i have done the second setup now in the supplier side i have to set yes to create interest invoice right so that is the third configuration related setups we have to do right so let us navigate to the procurement and go to the suppliers uh, let me through the ta task panel manage suppliers i have already created a supplier let me select the dell inc here we are edit the same go to the sites right so go to the sites here we are the bisp miami edit the same and go to invoicing invoicing tab scroll little bit down here we are create interest invoice right in the under the terms create interest invoices and my payment term is 21030 right so that is 2130 by default it will come i can i will change that particular thing right so that for the test case we will do so right so let us create interest invoice set yes and save and close and save and close now we will navigate to the payables invoice workbench let us move to the payables and out here the invoice workbench 
select the invoice workbench. Let us create our one invoice, right? So let us create that. I will create the invoice with prior date and take the payment term as immediate, right? So that is, let me select, yeah. And select the supplier as Dell, Dell INC, right? So say, Dell 50551 that is the invoice and I am selecting the amount as 85,000 as a standard invoice I will select as mm, computers right so I will select a prior date uh, let me select that as this right so first of august i am selecting and the payment terms i am selecting as immediate right so then only the interest invoice will be get created as per demonstration i am using the same in real world scenario it will be a uh, prior date that is 2 10 30 it's the date will be the prior date to that accordingly the interest will be calculated so for the demonstration purpose i am using the immediate one right so and in the lines level i will provide the line amount let me provide the line amount eight five double zero triple zero and distribution combination i am providing the same let me provide that selecting out here let me select as computers so let me select this computer and the services as zero zero and the line of business is zero zero and the resources as 00. Let me select the intercompany 201 and the future as 00. Right, say OK. Here we are. So we have created the invoice with the prior date and let me save the scene. So, not validated. Yes, it is not validated. Let me forcefully approve that scene. Let me validate the scene. Manual approval has been done. Let me validate. There we are. The validation has been done. Right. So the validation has been done. And the date is 1st of August. Right. So payment terms are changed to immediate. And go to the manage installments. If you go to the manage installments. This is my pay group. This is my pay group. And the method is electronic, right? So let us navigate to the, the saving close and navigate to the payments, right? So let navigate to the payments. And payment will be done in today's date, right? So let us create a payment. So create payments. 
from the task panel we will select the create payments i will select the supplier that is dell inc and select my disbursement bank this is my bank yeah so currency is defaulted right so i will select my payment process method that is this is my method and from here i will select that invoice add and select this is the invoice $85,000 apply and ok mm, the interest is not coming up I think so the amount we had taken a very less amount right so that is why it is not taking up uh, let me create a one more invoice with a uh, bigger amount right so that is the, the days are less let us now navigate to the again invoice workbench let us create a one more invoice with a prior date more prior date I will take take a Dell INC and I was provide the number as INV uh, so that tell 78820 provide us some bigger amount so I am taking um, 25000 as the amount uh, sorry 1 and, and give the sum date related to July select the July and select the term as immediate right so I'm selecting the immediate and now take the, the lines take it a uh, 85,000 itself it will be calculated at the time frame we have increased July right so take it as this one that will be a let me get the term date right so select the immediate and I will provide 85,000 and provide the distribution combination right select that Two zero one or center as zero zero. Then account I will select as computers. Select that line of business and resources. Provide the combination. right so we have created the same let me save the same validate the same and let me forcefully approve the invoice let me check it out 
here we are let us now navigate to the payments from task panel we'll create payment let me quickly select the supplier data and see that is the supplier and select the disbursement bank this is my disbursement bank this is the payment process profile i have selected that let select that particular invoice so yeah this one we will select that apply and okay see the interest has been calculated right so let's select that and select that this this invoice also let us select that invoice also this one also so you can see the date range the interest has not been calculated out here the interest has been calculated right so as soon as we make the payment the interest invoice will get created right so let us save that and the system will create a one interest invoice with this number with this with ind right so let us save this yeah so interest invoice has been created let me check manage payments go to the manage payments select the today's payment and select the supplier del inc search with that there we are del inc search open that the payment number so paid invoice go to the paid invoice you can see this invoice that the invoice has been created right i can select that it will navigate to the invoice workbench where the invoice this invoice interest invoice has been created right so this is the invoice and with the interest of 39 days for 3% at the 3% right so that is it has created a uh, interest invoice automatically system has created interest invoice so this is how we create interest invoice automatically system will calculate on delay payments as per the client requirement we have test that particular case out here right so if i go to the navigate invoice workbench we can see the same out here just recent go to the recent so let me navigate here we are same invoice open the invoice it has been validated now right so this is how the interest invoice get created right so interest of 39% right cancel that let's move to the next topic uh, of this webinar that is recurring invoice right so our topic is recurring invoice configuration and process as per the business requirement the create recurring invoice based on monthly rent for 9 months as per the rent agreement starting from 1st january 2023 how to create that in the application what are the configurations we required 
for our test case related to recurring invoice in the accounts payable the first step is to create payables calendar right so that is calendar we had to create in the application then we will download the recurring invoice adfdi spreadsheet it's nothing that application development framework desktop integrator spreadsheet is there the tool is there and we will provide the details out there the fill the uh, required details and then we can review and submit the same and validate the by creating validate the invoice out in the application and create accounting process in the application also right so that we will see in the ui right so let us first create payables calendar right so that is the first step we had to do so let us navigate again from setting an action navigate to the setup and maintenance in the financial scope select as calendar payables calendar right so let me search with calendar calendar there is a accounting calendar as well as the payables calendar right so we have created already a pay accounting calendars now in the payables calendar i will select the payables functional area is payable manage payable calendar let me create a one calendar i have already defined a one calendar let me create a one for this demonstration i will provide the name as bisp bisp uh, rent cl right so that is my naming convention i am giving same out here and the calendar type is general i am selecting and frequency is monthly right so i selected the monthly and starting period i will select the starting period that is as per the use case the january is my first january will be the starting period and from date to to date you can provide so let me provide the same from date to to date that is january to to date is um, as per the september right so you can provide that from date and to date or leave it blank right so it will create a, a calendar you can provide the same or leave it blank this is not a mandatory one the fields mandatory are put in the master uh, asterisk the period 12 periods will be created out here there is no adjusting period right so that is 12 period will be there and generate the period right select the generate the period so you can see the period has been generated the 12 periods has been generated with the naming convention as period name as january 23 starting and ending right so it has created a 12 periods right and save and close so our calendar is bisp rent calendar for this demonstration purpose we have created the same now navigate to the invoice workbench in payables payables work area from the task panel create recurring invoices select that let me download that yeah it get downloaded Here we are. 
It will ask for credentials. I will provide the credential. Sign in with the password. So out here, I will select first is business unit. My business unit I have to select out here. And I will select the business unit as BISP. Let me, there we are. BISP solution, Miami, right? I will provide the invoice number that is let me select the invoice number as R I N V A B C slash that's it and invoice amount I am selecting as say $75 oh, sorry $75 out here and I will select a supplier out here right so I have to select the supplier double click the same out here I will select the supplier uh, let me select the supplier as Dell no let me select the supplier as computer right so computer advanced is my supplier search with that here we are say ok Let me provide the other details. Supplier site. Double click the scene. I will not blank and search the scene. Here we are. One sub site. 